Welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I'm doing a fall favorites video. And what is also special about this video is I'm doing a collab with my very dear friend, Dee Dee's Beauty and More. So the last time we did a collab was quite a while ago when we did a winter's favorite. So I don't know, I thought a fall favorite would be fun for us to do for a collab video. And Dee Dee also suggested that we do a fall makeup look. So at the end of my video, I will have um, like a demo of me doing the look I'm wearing right now. I did more of a plum fall look. So if you guys want to stick around to the end, definitely check that out. It's only like a minute long, so it's not super, you know, long. But Dee Dee is such a good friend. Um, I've known her for, I want to say a little over a year on this platform. We also communicate through YouTube or Instagram and text as well. And she's just a sweetheart. She has, a, you know, a really big heart. And I just want to tell you a little bit about her YouTube channel. She has a series where she does Makeup Mondays where, you know, she'll talk about makeup. She also has a new series, uh, Fridays, Favorites, and Fails, where she talks about products that she's been loving or not liking so much throughout the week. And she's very honest and thorough with, you know, with the products that she uses. And sometimes she might not have like a lot of fails and sometimes she might have quite a bit of fails. She is a Dollar Tree queen. She loves doing like Dollar Tree hauls. And even on her Instagram, she will post like photos of different items that she finds at her Dollar Trees. And I believe she goes to a lot of Dollar Trees in her area and, you know, finds the best products or the best decorations, whatever Dollar Tree has to offer, she'll post on her Instagram. So you can see what is available at Dollar Tree and what she finds. I really like that touch on her Instagram. So I'll link her Instagram down below so you could definitely check that out as well. Um, she does a lot of TJ Maxx hauls, Marshalls, she'll do Ulta haul, and of course like she also has a boxy, she does her BoxyCharm unboxings every month and Ipsy as well. And of course she does a lot of collabs with her friends here on YouTube and she is also part of the Faithful Fab 9 collab group that I'm a part of. So if you are new to my channel, if you're from Dee Dee's channel, welcome. I hope you, you know, hit the subscribe um, button. I hope you stay for a little bit and definitely keep on watching to see what some of my fall favorites are. So first I'm going to start with makeup. I don't have an excessive amount of favorites. I wanted to narrow it down. So I have two eyeshadow palettes, Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. This is like a limited edition palette for this year. And I just think it's a, such a pretty fall palette. You have more bright colors, more, a few neutrals. It is more warm, but there are some cooler shades with the purple. I just think it's a really pretty palette. You do have to work a little harder with the shimmers. I did do a full video on this and I mean, as long as you use your finger, the shimmers are beautiful, but they don't work so well with the brush. But besides that, I think it's a perfect fall palette. And Dee Dee actually just sent this to me. Um, it is a Profusion palette, Love Struck, and she wanted me to try the brand Profusion. So I never tried anything from the brand. She did send me some other products, a liquid lipstick, lip liner, um, what else? I don't know, there's a few other products I got from this. Oh, and like uh, eye glitter and mascara. But I wanted to mention this palette because like when people think of fall, they think of orange, you know, cranberry looks, very warm. But I also think of plums and purples and berries. And this has a lot of my ring lights reflecting off of it. But this has quite a bit of purples and, you know, plums. You could get a really pretty pinky purple look and, you know, I think sometimes people forget about, you know, plums being a beautiful color for fall. And this also has a lot of different textures. There's glitter, shimmers, there's mattes. So I think these palettes are great and they're fairly affordable. I want to say this palette's around $10. I'll have to double check and put that up on the screen. But I mean, you get a ton of shades and that's even more affordable than Morphe. And I believe you can find Profusion at your 
Walmarts and some Targets carry Profusion too. And I have my last two makeup products I'm going to be talking about. These were also gifted to me by Dee Dee oh, a while back. She found these at the Dollar Tree. And these are um, LA Colors and the line is Beauty Through the Decades. So this blush right here is called Whatever. It's a part of the 90s collection. I use this blush almost every single day. I You can actually see like the pan underneath how much I use it. And obviously this brush, because she found it at the Dollar Tree, it's only a dollar. But I think it is the perfect blush for fall. I'll show you a swatch. It's so far away from my camera. But it's the perfect like warm. It's pinky but also like apricot kind of, and it's a neutral blush. I don't know, I gave it a lot of descriptions, but I just think it is the prettiest color for fall, and I've been wearing it, and it's pigmented, it blends on my skin, I just think it's gorgeous. And I know a lot of people say they don't like when blushes are too pigmented, but I don't know, I like it when it has a little pigment and I don't have to keep building, building, building. And another product from LA Colors is a lipstick and this is as if and I believe this is a part of the 80s collection as or the 90s as well and it is like a satin like creamy moisturizing lipstick and it's like that brownie nude but I think it's the perfect color for fall and I have been enjoying it and I don't know I feel like any time I am trying to be like more fall, like seasonal look, makeup look, I reach for this. And I've been reaching for this blush just about every single day. So I would definitely check out your Dollar Trees and look for this stuff. I mean, you can't beat it for a dollar. Okay, so that's it for makeup. Now I'm gonna go into some body and hair care. And if you like to have a tan in the summer and you've been losing your summer tan and you don't, you know, going into tanning beds or anything like that is really bad for your skin. You could get skin cancer, you could get um, getting too much sun exposure, cause aging and wrinkles. So I got this in a boxy charm. This is uh, Tan Lux, the Gradual Illuminating Gradual Tan Lotion. So I have been using this and I think it works fairly well. It is not like an instant tan where you put it on and you know you rinse it off this is something you could do every single day like after your shower or before you go to bed or whatever and it's supposed to start working within one to two hours you'll start to see some results but the more you use this the more tan you will get so if you only want like a little bit of a tan don't use it as often i i had had some you know mistakes with it like around my ankles and my knees. So you just gotta be careful around certain spots, parts of your body. But I have been using this e.l.f. brush to help smooth over my skin, to help make it more even. And I think this was around $6 or something. And I think this is perfect to help spread it around and help it become more even. So I have been enjoying this and I don't, if you're looking for like a gradual tanner. I know Jergens has one that's more affordable, but this is just one I happen to have because I got it in a boxy charm. Okay, I'm going to talk about some hair care. I do bleach my hair and my hair is awfully, awfully dry. I mean, my hair is air dried right now and I do have some like natural waves in it, but when my hair is wet, I've been putting oil in it. So this is a facial oil I got in a boxy charm. I don't use facial oils on my face because I find that I break out. Every time I tried it, I've broken out. So I'm like, I had no use for these oils. So I just decided one day to start putting it in my hair and it really helps. I would only recommend it if you have extremely dry damaged hair, but it, cause I feel like if you have fine hair, it would weigh your hair down. But I think my hair looks fairly decent for being air dried. So I'm glad I found some use on my face oil, face facial oil. And I also have an oil that's actually meant for your hair. This is from EY Beauty. She's my friend here on YouTube and I ordered this from her. And this is like a sample size. And what I like to do with this 
is I also I like to roll it like in my scalp. I'll, I'll do it after I wash my hair and just like my hair still wet, I'll put it in like around my scalp and I just leave it. And I also like to use this before I bleach my hair to kind of protect like my scalp and my hair. Like I'll run it through my scalp and I don't know, I'll just run it through everywhere. And it smells really nice. It has like a sweet tree tea oil scent. I will link her store down below in case you're interested in any products. I know she just came out with a moisture, like a conditioning shampoo. And she is expanding her hair care line. And another product I enjoy for bleach blonde hair is a product I got at Sally's. This is the Shiny Silver Ultra. Uh, shine spray so this spray is supposed to help eliminate oil but what I also love about this is it it's like an oil but I like to spray it in my hair and it adds moisture and it makes my hair look shiny and I absolutely love this if you have bleach blonde dry hair I highly recommend it you can go overboard though if you do too much your hair will look greasy but I have been enjoying this and this has lasted me quite a while and when I'm done with this I'm definitely going to repurchase. Okay so now let's get into a candle that I've been loving. This is a candle that I bought at TJ Maxx. I did show this in a haul and this one is Honey, Honey Pumpkin and this was I got it for $12.99. It smells delicious. It's like a sweet pumpkin. That's what I like about it. So like it's not too spicy. It's sweet. And I don't, I wouldn't say it's too powerful. Like I know a lot of people love when candles fill the room. This kind of does, but it's not super strong. And if that's something you don't like, you probably wouldn't like this. But some people don't like super powerful candles and don't like, like having that super strong scent. So I don't know. And TJ Maxx and like stores like that, that you could get really good candles at really good prices. Okay. And this is another product I showed in my TJ Maxx haul. I think leopard pit print sweaters are so fall. I mean, this is one I got, I think I paid around 20 bucks for it and the original price was 78. This one is so cozy. The material is soft, like it doesn't feel scratchy at all. And I have washed this a few times already but I air, I lay out to air dry. I, I would not recommend drying these sweaters in your dryer, but they air dry just fine. I know Target, other stores, I'll show some different styles, the leopard print, because I almost want, like if I find another style, I would want it, because I just, I think they're so cute. But I don't know, I think, if you don't own a leopard print sweater, I highly recommend it. And you can probably find it at all different types of stores. And there's all different types of styles. You could get like a cardigan style, like a like an open sweater, whatever you, I don't know. They're so cute in my opinion. And to finish this off, I want to talk about two TV shows on Netflix. Now, they are a little spooky but they're not gory. I don't think they're like extreme scary. I don't like the like extreme torture films or anything like that. But these are more like mystery thrillers to me. And it is The Haunting of House Hill, which is season one. And then the new season just came out, which is Haunting Brile Manor. I think I said Brile Manor. And I think they're both really good. Obviously, I think the first season's better. Um, the second season is kind of slow moving like until halfway and it's one of those shows that you have to really pay attention to to figure out what's going on and then once like the end happens everything fits together like a puzzle and I think they're they really make you think and I I, I don't know I just think they have like beautiful stories to them even though they're kind of sad but I don't know if you're in this into the spooky season and you want to watch a good show to binge on I highly recommend both of them and what's interesting is in the second season it is a totally different storyline totally different people different house different but some of the actors from season one are in season two but they have different characters but yeah that is it for my fall favorites 
definitely check out Dee Dee's channel down below. I will link her Instagram and her YouTube channel. And if you want to keep watching, you can see how I created this plummy fall eyeshadow look. Okay, guys, I hope you all have a fabulous day. What are some of your fall favorites? What stands out to you the most? If you had to go through your stuff, what would you say is your favorite for fall? I would love to know. Let us all know in the comment section down below, and I hope you all have a fabulous day. Bye.